Hey everyone, what's going on? Jane No One Sixty Five, aka Jaden, and today is another Ramlink video, you guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. So welcome back to another Ramlink video, you guys. If you guys are new to these Ramlink videos, basically what I do is I just talk about stuff, stuff that I enjoy, like anime, movies, TV shows, video games, cartoons, all that good stuff. Um, sometimes I'll talk about topics, you know, um, and basically I just talk about stuff and I just ramble. So that's really all these rambling videos are about. And also another reason um, why I wanted to do these rambling videos was because, you know, sometimes I just feel like turning on the camera and just talking to the audience, talking to you guys. So that's kind of another reason why I wanted to do these rambling videos. So not just to talk about stuff that I enjoy, like anime, movies, video games, cartoons, all that good stuff. But uh, not just to talk about that and uh, not just to just talk about stuff and just ramble. But, you know, sometimes I just feel like turning on the camera and just talking to the audience, talking to you guys. And, uh, yeah, basically that's what all these rambling videos are about. So just wanted to give you the heads up on that. If any of you guys are new to these rambling videos, so, yeah. Now, I do not know what number this rambling video is. I believe this rambling video is number 14. I could be wrong. But once this video is up on my channel, then you'll see by the title of this video what number this rambling video is. And yes, I have been numbering. I have been, excuse me, I have been numbering my rambling videos. So one, two, three, four, and so on and so on. So that's what I've been doing. And, uh... Yeah, right now, you guys, um, you know, I just felt like turning on the camera, talking to the audience, talking to you guys. So that's why I felt like doing. <sighs> so, yeah. And uh, in this rambling video, uh, I wanted to talk about my depression, my anxiety. And this probably will not be the only video I talk about my depression and my anxiety there will probably be more videos in the future of my YouTube channel where I discuss about my or or I should say talk um, again you guys I'm not cool with my words so please bear with me but um, there will probably be more than one video videos in the future on my YouTube channel talking about my depression and my anxiety so yeah um, so yeah, so in this video, I wanted to talk about my depression, my anxiety, which is a topic I really wish uh, I wasn't talking about, but I am going to talk about it, so yeah, uh, so yeah. In this video, you guys, um, it's going to be a little different than my other rambling videos because in this video... I just lost my train of thought, you guys. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. Mm. Guys, it is very late. It is like almost 1 o'clock in the morning right now. Uh, so, yeah. And, uh... Yeah. It's a bad habit with me when I, when I lose my train of thought. Ah, now I remember. So, basically, um, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how to uh, phrase this. Now I do. Uh, again, you guys, I'm not going my words, so please bear with me. Um, so I actually have some relics that um, I wanted to show you guys in this video, and these relics have a catch to them, and I'll explain about that, and I'll explain about that in detail in a second here. So these relics are really cool. So, relic number one, this really cool pen. So I've got this really cool panda pen. It's a National Geographic's pen, and it's a really big one. I don't know if you can see National Geographic's on there, but there it is right there. And it is a panda pen, and it is really cool. And when it comes to animals, you guys, pandas are one of my favorite animals of all times. Um, 
So I, right here, I've got a panda pen. So that's the, that's a relic right there. Another relic is these professional Japanese chopsticks. For a second, I was about to hold it like a Japanese katana sword, but uh, it's not really a sword. It's really a stick. But when I look at this, I don't think it's a Jap. I don't. Uh, well, it probably is Japanese, but I don't think it's a chop. I don't think it's chopsticks, because you know. I don't know if the camera is show. I, I don't know if you, you guys can see, or I don't know if the camera is picking this up, or show, or at least showing it. Um, but there is a line, only halfway, not even halfway. Only the the line goes up to here, so it's like an opening, you know. Or actually, you know, what? I do think these are chopsticks. Ooh. And by the looks of it, these. Are at the point where I could break them easily, but I am not going to do that because I actually do like them, like a like in this form, because it like at the end here it's like a rake. I don't know if you guys can see that, so it's like a it's like a rake. It's got some object at the end here, so it's really cool. So I like to keep that intact. But now that I now that I can see now, yeah. When I try to if I try to break it in half like this to you actually use the chopsticks it will break easily because I can already see the, the mark is already almost halfway but I'm not gonna do that so I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna break in I'm actually gonna keep the stick intact a little piece of wood on the side I'm trying to rip it out so it doesn't sting me ah don't want to get any blisters all right we're good we're good we're good I think I just got a blister no, no, what, no. Guys, I hate getting blisters. That's one of the things I hate happening to me. <laughs> so yeah, so these are really cool Japanese chopsticks. And uh, if you see these in my hands, that's because I, I, I like to hold them like this, you know, you know, point them around and stuff. And uh, it's like it's like you're a teacher in in the school and uh, you have that uh, teacher stick that you point to this equation or that equation that's kind of what it is, it's like for me so either it's it's this stick right here or it's this pen so either I'll wave this around or I'll wave this around and I'll just like point out the main uh, points that I am making and I am talking about in my videos so yeah so really nothing complicated you guys just simple stuff so these are two relics that I just wanted to show you guys so you got a, a cool really cool pandas pen so this is a real cool pandas pen and then you got professional Japanese chopsticks and I think I might have another set of pair of these that may not be all broken up I think they're still intact but um, I'll have to look so yeah so I've got these relics, but that isn't the only one. One quick, another quick relic, um, before I, before I start discussing in this video is, wabam, this bracelet here. Oh, it's not really a bracelet, it's um, a wristband. That's the word, I almost forgot, I almost forgot that word. <laughs> it's a uh, wristband, and uh, there's, there's actually three reasons why I have this wristband on. One, it looks cool, and I like to have it on me. Number two, every time I have this on, which I've been having it on a lot lately, it reminds me of the Power Rangers morphers, you know? So when they're about to morph into action, so it reminds me of that, so I like to have it on for that. Plus, I'm a huge fan of Power Rangers. Power Rangers all the way! Go, go, Power Rangers! Yeah! <laughs> I love Power Rangers, you guys. And I'll definitely probably do more than one video in the future talking about Power Rangers on my channel, on my video, so stay tuned for that, so believe it. So yeah, you guys, um, so yeah, so, so again, I like to have this on because it's cool and I wanna have this on, so that's one, two, it reminds me of the Power Rangers uh, morphers when they morph into action, so that's two, and three, this wristband um, helps me, keeps my nerves and um, my anxiety and my emotional levels 
at level and in check. And not just this wristband, all these relics I have right here, the, these Japanese chopsticks, or you can call this Japanese stick, or I, I, like to, I like to call that, that's the name that I've given it, and I think I will call it that, so yeah. So this Japanese uh, stick or chopsticks, and this really cool pandas pen. Um, so the reason why I have these two and this wristband right here is because all these relics, as I like to call them, they uh, keep my nerves down, they keep my anxiety down, they prevent from my anxiety levels rising higher and higher exponentially, um, they prevent my anxiety from shooting through the roof and the ceiling, and they just keep my anxiety and my nerves and my emotional levels um, at level and in check. So that's the reason, that's the main reason why um, I have all these relics out with me and I have this wristband on my wrist. So yeah, so that's the reason why. And the reason why um, I have this on and I have these relics with me is because um, my anxiety lately has a uh, been rough it's been rough on me um, my anxiety levels have been out of control my anxiety levels have been rising higher and higher and higher exponentially exponentially my anxiety the bar it's like the bar levels are rising higher and higher and higher and my anxiety has been so rough lately um, that my anxiety has been through the roof and through the ceiling and um, you know there are days where um where my anxiety levels shoot through the roof and shoot through the ceiling and that's not a good thing you guys that is not a good thing and you know when that happens it gets to the point where my heart rate rises higher and higher and beats faster and faster exponentially and you know when that happens my lungs start to hurt and it, it's like when you crumple a piece of paper or a tin foil that's what it feels like for my lungs and it feels like my lungs are getting like smaller and smaller and they're being crumbled up from the inside and it gets to the point where I can't breathe. And that is not a good thing, you guys, and that um, is very serious, you know, and that is why anxiety is uh, very serious. And if you heard that, that was me cracking my fingers. So yeah, but um, yeah, just, uh, my anxiety, my anxiety lately um, has been through the roof and through the ceiling, and um, just know this, ladies and gentlemen, that anxiety is real. You know, don't don't think that all oh, anxiety is fake. It's going to be twenty nineteen fake, fake. You know, society nowadays, you know, just the, the negativity still happens. The the, the negative comments still happens, the bullying still happens, you know, and the, the people keep saying in today's society, oh, this is fake, this is fake, depression, fake, anxiety, fake, friendship, fake, people's lives, fake. And, and, and the thing is, when they, when they say, oh, we make fun of people and, and that's a joke and everything, and that's real, that's real. Yeah, it is real. But it's not a joke, and it's not funny. Like, nobody's life is a joke. Nobody as a person is a joke, you know? Like, if you have friends that treat you, they treat you and they treat your life as a joke, you should not surround yourself with those people because, first of all, it's not worth it. And second of all, all they're gonna do is just make fun of you. They're gonna bully you all the time every single time 24 7 again and again and again you know and you keep asking yourself when will it stop you know and the one way you can make it stop do not surround yourself with those people do not surround yourselves with those people that the only thing they'll do is the bullying the negativity the toxicity and just the, the running the mouths and saying oh yeah this is fake this is fake Oh, we're gonna treat others as they were a joke. That's funny, you know. Th that's just not right, you guys. And and that's why, you know. Eventually, at one point in your life, you know, you need to ask yourself that that you need to ask yourself this. You need to ask yourself this question: 
the circle the, 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 that circle of friends that I have that I'm in are those the right people for me are those the right friends for me and there comes a time where you know you just have to leave those friends because they treat you so bad and they you know they, they become so negative when a couple years later they were all nice and all positive now they're all negative they're all toxicity they run the mouths and they just say all this negativity and they direct it towards you for no reason like no reason at all and just like that's why when it all comes to when it all comes down to it, you guys, um, main point is just that you gotta surround yourselves with folks that have your back. They support you. They respect you. They lend out a helping hand. You trust them, and they trust you. And you know, they always have your back, and they always support you every step of the way, all the way. And they're normal, good, and positive to you, one hundred percent, all the way. And those are the folks that you need to surround yourself with. And those are the folks that you want and that you need in your small circle of friendship and friends. And those are the people you need to surround yourself with, you know. See, when it comes to friendship to me, friendship for me is about having each other's backs, supporting each other, respecting each other, lending each other help in hand. You trust each other and you're normal, good, and positive to each other. And that's what it's all about, you guys. And that, to me is the definition of friendship you know and that's what it's all about and not just friendship also relationship and when by relationship i refer to man woman male female now before uh real quick i did say um whenever i was talking about relationships i did um say boy girl man woman now every time that i say relationships i'm gonna say man woman male female you know um, just to me, just to me, I, I think that's the more appropriate terms to you. So, um, yeah, just wanted to give you guys the heads up on that. So yeah, nothing wrong. Just uh, you know, gave it some thought, and I was like, I was like, think to myself, you know what? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna change those words. So I did, and nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. So yeah, just say a uh, quick switcheroo here and there. So yeah, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. It's like you know. You have that, it's like there's a wall outside and on that wall on the side, there's a bunch of these gears. And eventually, you know, the gears aren't going fast enough. You know, they're supposed to be going at a normal fast rate, you know. But, you know, every day you keep turning those gears and they're so slow and slow and slow. And every day keeps the gears keep getting slow and slow. So what do you do? You make some adjustments, you know. And the, that's basically what I did. You know, you make some adjustments you take the old gears out and you put new ones in so that all the gears get all, all the gears start running all fast and everything everything's up and running and uh that's basically what it is so yeah just made an adjustment did a little switcheroo that's all i did so yeah so as i was saying you guys um not just friendship but also relationship and relationship to me uh same with friendship you know, you have each other's backs, you support each other, you respect each other, you lend each other help in hand, you trust each other, and you're normal, good, and positive each other. And by relationship, I'm referring to man, woman, male, female. And um, just relationships and friendships together, you know, you know, in that small circle, you know, you have each other's backs, you support each other, you respect each other, you lend each other help in hand, you trust each other, you're normal, good, and positive each other. And folks like that, you guys, those are the folks you need to surround yourselves with. And those are the folks that you need to surround yourselves with. And those are the folks that you want to be in your small circle. And when it comes to the small circle, you guys, of friendship and friends, aka friends, I'm going to talk more about that in a future uh, video on my channel. So stay tuned for that. So wanted to give you the heads up on that. So yeah. Um... So yeah, you guys, you know, that's why I'm always saying positivity is the way to go. That's why I'm saying I'm always about positivity because when you think about it, positivity is the way to go because you're positive. When you look at the consequences, the consequences, they're not going to come to you. They're going to go to the people that are always being negative. You know, consequences are going to happen to them, not to you. You know why? Because you are always about positivity and that's what it's about you guys you always got to be about the thumbs up never about the thumbs down you always got to be about the thumbs up 
So that's what it's all about, you guys. Um, positivity is the way you go, way to go. It is the way to go again. And, you know, that's why I'm always about positivity and just, like, it's a way to go, you guys. Seriously, it's the way to go. And that's why, you know, no matter what century it might be, no matter what generation it might be, no matter what year it might be, you know, it's still 2018 now. Soon it's going to be 2019 and then 2020 and then so on and so on and so on. You always got to be positive, you know. And I'm always going to be about positivity. Remember... I'm always going to say this in my videos and on my channel. I am never, never about negativity. I'm always about positivity 100% all the way. So believe it. So yeah, and positivity is the way to go, you know. And I'm definitely going to talk more about that in future videos on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, also wanted to give you the heads up on that as well. So yeah, you guys, as I was saying, uh, the wristband and the panda pen and the uh, Japanese chopsticks aka the Japanese uh, stick the reason why I have all these uh, objects out or as I like to call them relics is because they keep my nerves down they keep my anxiety levels down and they keep my emotional levels down and all that my anxiety my nerves and my emotional levels they these relics keep them at level and they keep them at check you know so basically these relics having these relics out with me right now prevents me from having another panic attack panic attack anxiety attack which i've been having a lot lately and it's not good you guys it's not good at all and that's why i want to say this right here and right now anxiety and depression is real don't think that's a joke if you have someone in your classroom that always say oh depression anxiety that's funny ha 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 that's a joke you you don't need to surround yourself with that person because you know that person is just gonna run the mouth and always gonna be about negative negative energy and negativity altogether you don't need that you know you need the positive you need the positive energy you need to be in the positive group you know you have to you have to stay away from the negative group and you gotta be and stay in the positive group and that's where I am right now and I've always been a member of the positive group and I do not regret being in the positive group I do not regret being a positive person I do not regret being always about positivity that's just who I am that's me I'm always about positivity I'm always gonna be myself and you know I'm always gonna be about positivity that's the way to go positivity all the way so believe it and that's just me that's just who I am that's it's in my blood it's in my nature the positivity it's not gonna go away it's never gonna go away the chains of positivity will always stay intact you know there will never come a day where oh it's about to break it's gonna break that day will never come because those chains you know those chains being intact shows that me being positive will never stop and when I say I'm always about positivity, I mean that 100%, you guys. And I say 100% for a reason. I'm not talking about, oh, I'm always positive 50%, 10%, 12%, 5%, 2%, 1%. Nope. It's 100%, and it's always going to be 100%. So I'm always about positivity 100%, you guys. So believe it. So thumbs up for that. So yeah. So yeah, you guys. And like I'm always going to say, I'm never about negativity. I'm never about this. This is the negativity. This is what you want to avoid. You want to be always about this. The positivity all the way, 100%, every step of the way, every day, 100%. So believe it. Thumbs up to that. So yeah. And um, yeah, you guys, when I say I'm never about negativity, I mean that. When I say I'm always about positivity, 100%, I mean that 100%. So believe it say so, yeah, you guys uh like i was saying the re the reason why i have all these relics um out with me right here and right now is so they prevent me from having a, another panic aka anxiety attack and having these relics out with me um keep my nerves down they keep my anxiety levels down 
and they keep my emotional levels down and all that together they keep all that at level and in check and um i'll be honest you guys my heart rate is rising just a little just a little not exponentially it's not right it's it's not at the point where it's rising so high and so hard that you know my chest hurts my chest hurts and my lungs are swollen and like they're being crumpled up from the inside and I can't breathe. It's not getting to that point, you guys. It's not getting to that point. I'm good, I'm good, but I w I'll be honest. I'll be honest, just a little, just a little, my heart rate is rising just a little, just a little faster, just a little, probably like one or 5%, just a little, 0.5%. But it's not catastrophic. It, it, it's not at the point where like, I'm gonna pass out or anything and I'll be honest there have been times where I was this close to passing out you know and I have passed out before um, you know from times here and there but um, yeah you guys uh, when I say my anxiety is real my anxiety is real it is real and my anxiety is uh, always going to be real so my advice don't joke about suicide. Don't joke about depression. Don't joke about anxiety. Don't joke about any of those things because those things are real and those things still happen in life, you know? And just, no one should ever joke about suicide. No one should ever joke about anxiety. No one should ever joke about depression, you know? And you know, if there are people that joke about that, again, you don't need to surround yourself with them. You need to surround yourself with the positive people, the people that are going to support you every step of the way. They're always going to respect you. They're always going to respect your boundaries all the time, all the way, every step of the way. Those are the people you need to support. The, those are the people you need to support. And those are the people you need to be with. And those are the people you need to surround yourself with. And those are the people that you need in your small circle. So yeah, you guys. Um, but again, you know, suicide, d depression, anxiety is real, you know, and, and my advice when it comes to suicide, you know, talk to someone. That's the best advice I can give you guys. Seriously, talk to someone because it is real, you know, it is real and it, it, it's still real today and it's always going to be real, you know. It, 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 the day will never come where suicide and depression and anxiety like it's 2019 and, and everyone's like oh the days come it's not real anymore ha 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 everyone has a laugh no that day will never come you know it's always going to be real and you should never never joke about those things you know especially depression anxiety and suicide because all those three things are real and they're always going to be real and like I was saying, the best advice I can give you guys, um, if there are any folks out there that are feeling suicidal and you just feel like all hope is lost, talk to someone. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. And when it comes to talking to your friends, you guys, talk to those friends that will only, only listen to you. The friends that don't listen to you and don't care about you, don't bother. Don't bother talking to them. Don't waste your time talking to them because... What they're going to do is they're not going to listen and they're not going to care. So the people that you need to talk to are the people that care about you every step of the way, all the way. And they support you every step of the way, all the way. And they listen to you every step of the way, all the way, 100%. So all those three things, you know, and those are the people you need to talk to, you know, especially your friends. You know, and a lot of people, you know, talking to their parents, that's not an option for them. You know, you know, when, when that, you know, when that idea comes to their mind, to them, that's just not possible. And that's just not an option for them, you know. And if that's the case, you know, talk to your friends, you know, talk to your close friend, talk to your best friend, you know. If you're in a relationship, you know, talk to your girlfriend, you know, and just like. If your girlfriend's going through a lot, you know, talk to her. If your boyfriend's going through a lot, talk to her. And by relationships, again, I'm referring to man, woman, male, female. And I'm always going to say that, you guys, because those relationships I support. 
and those are the relationships I condone. So yeah, you guys. Uh, but again, you guys, you know, if, if there are any of you guys watching this video and you feel suicidal and you feel like all hope is lost and you feel like there's no hope left, please talk to someone. There's always someone you can talk to, you know? Talk to your parents, talk to your close friends, talk to your family members, you know? You might have more than one family member. You might have an uncle, you might have a, a grandfather, a grandmother, you know? Talk to them, talk to them and you know, and if talking to your family is not an option, then talk to your friends and talk to those friends that will only listen to you, they care about you, and they support you all the way, every step of the way, 100%, every day, always. And those are the people you need to talk to, especially if you feel like all hope is lost and you feel like there's no hope left. Because let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, there's always hope. You know, whether you like it or not, or whether you believe it or not, you know, there's always hope. You know, it's always about the will and the power and the and the soul to never give up, you know. And honestly, for me, there has never come a day where I felt suicidal. You know, there's never come a day where I felt all hope is lost, you know. Now, there were days for me where I just wanted the pain to stop so badly. I wanted the pain to stop. I wanted the suffering to stop. I wanted the, the yelling to stop. I wanted the drama to stop. I wanted the chaos to stop. I was tired of every day things spiraling and things transforming into chaos over and over and over again. And I was just tired of that, you know? And, you know, there were plenty of days where I told myself and I said to myself, I wanted to stop. I want the pain to stop. I want it all to stop. But never once, never once did I say to myself, all hope is lost. I never once said that to myself, you know. And when I think about it, a part of me thinks that's another reason why I did YouTube, why I did YouTube, why I'm doing these videos right here and right now, you know, because on a serious note, honestly, honestly wise, this is all I have. I have nothing else, you know. I finished school. I don't have a school diploma. I do not have a permit. I do not have a driver's license. Um, th this is all I have. I don't have a college degree. I don't have, you know, certificates here and there. I don't have, like again more college degrees like I don't have any of that the only thing I have is YouTube these videos my channel and YouTube and you know this is all I have you know and doing YouTube doing these videos right here and right now means so much to me it always has and it always wills and it always will be it always will mean so much to me doing these videos my YouTube channel YouTube you know, it means so much to me because this right here, this is all I have. I have nothing else. You know, I don't, I don't have any friends. I don't have a girlfriend and um, I miss my dog. I really do. I miss her so much. I miss her so much and I, I wish I wish I could just turn back time and I could go back and like I don't know just I miss her so much though I really do I really do I, I miss her so much you guys you know and experiencing loss is not easy you know and the people that say oh it gets easier it gets easier from time to time it doesn't though it, it just gets harder you know and that's why you for anyone that has experienced loss you know you gotta you know you gotta surround yourself with the folks that have your back support you respect you lend out a helping hand you trust them and they trust you you trust each other and you're norm they're normal good and positive to you every step of the way all the way every day 100% always and those are the people you need to surround yourselves with 
and those are the folks that you need to have in your circle in your small circle of friendship you know and um back then I, st I didn't have any friends and st still till this day now I don't have any friends you know I wish I could hang out with my friends I could hang out with my girlfriend and we all have a great and awesome time we go to the beach we go to we go to this arcade convention like we play arcade games we play video games it's it's great and awesome time we have a great and awesome time you know and I wish I, I, I wish you know me and my friends and me and my girlfriend could have a great and awesome times you know and we have that I, I wish that was possible but it's not you know and my dog was the only friend I had she was my best friend she was a member of the family I loved her so much and I truly miss her I really do and um, a part of me is still debating whether I should make a video uh, talking about my dog but when I think about it I think I'm gonna save that video sometime in the future of my YouTube channel um, that's the decision that I decided um, to yeah but um I really miss her I really miss her and it has been honestly I don't know how many months it's been but um it's been a long time. It's been a long time, and I really miss her so much. I do. She was adorable. She was cute. And I miss playing with her all the time. I miss, you know, petting her all the time. And one of the biggest regrets I'll, I have is... The day before she passed away, I didn't say anything to her. I didn't come up to her. I didn't pet her. Nor usually, normally, I usually I pet her on her stomach, you know, on her back. And sometimes I'll scratch her forehead because she always liked that. And the day before she passed away, I didn't do any of those things. I said nothing to her. I didn't come up to her, I didn't pet her like I always do, I did none of that. And that's something I'm always gonna regret. I'm always gonna regret that, you guys. And my advice, you know, always treat your pets, always, sorry, excuse me, always treat your pets with kindness, careness, supportive energy, and happiness, you know, Treat your pets with love and care because, you know, you may not think it or not, but they're a part of the family, you know, they're a part of your family, you know, they're a member of the family, you know, and um, they mean so much to you, they do, they're everything to you, you know, they're your friend, they're your best friend, and they're a part of the family, they're a member of the family, you know, and you have to remember that, and you have to keep that in mind, you know, so my advice is treat your pets with love, care, kindness, careness, and love and support and supportive energy every step of the way, all the way, 100% always. Believe it. I miss my dog, I really do. And um, Things for me haven't been easy easier for me lately. What I was saying, um, you may have not, you may have not heard that, but what I was saying was, um, just now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Things for me haven't been easier for me lately. They've just been harder and harder and rougher and rougher. And um, I miss her. I really do. You know. And back then, you know, she was the only friend I had. You know, she was my best friend. She was a, she was family. She was a member of the family, and she was the only one I had. She was the only friend I had. The best, she was my best friend. You know, and um, then she passed away, and 
I don't have anyone now. Like the only the only thing I have left is um these videos right here, my videos, my YouTube channel, YouTube. This is all I have, you know. And you know, lately I've been noticing, you know, a lot of YouTube creators, a lot of YouTubers have been complaining that oh this is going on and that's going on and this and that and blah 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 to me you know I ask myself and I say to myself am I gonna let that stop me no I'm not this is what I want to do this is my dream this is my passion and the only person the only person that could take away that could take this away from me is me I'm the only person that can take away this from myself. And that's never gonna happen. Not now, not ever. I'm always gonna do YouTube. I never go back on my word. I always said I wasn't gonna stop. I wasn't gonna quit. And I will never, ever give up. I meant that every single time, every single day, every time, day, every time I said that to myself and in my videos, I meant that 100%. I always mean that and I always will mean that and I never ever go back on my word so when I say I will never quit YouTube I mean it 100% so believe it <clears throat> and believe it that just made you know not only is it just a, a, um, a reference from the Naruto series and I don't just say that because I'm a fan of the Naruto series, but I also say that because I mean it. So when I say I will never, never quit YouTube, I'm always going to do YouTube, I will keep charging forward, I will keep pushing myself forward, I will keep pushing myself forward beyond the limit. I will not stop, I will not quit, and I will never, never give up. When I say that, I mean it, believe it. And when I say believe it, that just shows that I'm serious, that I'm serious, and that I mean it. 100%. So yeah, you guys, when it comes to YouTube now, you know, the you know, YouTube just I am never about negativity. You know, and I mean that 100%. When it comes to negativity, I'm not about that. Because I'm not in that negative group. I'm in the positive group. I'm never about this. I'm always about this. 100%. But the way I see it just um, with YouTube, just... I, I think the problem is, is that all these YouTube creators, all these YouTubers are just jumping to conclusions. You know, they're jumping to conclusions and they think YouTube is over. But you know, honestly, YouTube is going nowhere. You know, like I see the ads, like, you know, I still see the advertisements that YouTube... YouTube is still a thing, you know, and let me tell you something, like, if you think doing YouTube is not possible anymore, you're wrong, because it is, and I'm going to prove it, I'm going to prove it just showing you guys that I will not stop, I will not quit, and I will never, ever give up on my dream and my passion, and that's doing this right here, making videos, making more videos, growing the channel, doing YouTube, keep doing more and more and more videos and keep doing more videos on my YouTube channel and I just keep going and going and going and I keep pushing myself and I keep pushing myself forward and forward and forward and I keep pushing and pushing and I keep going forward and forward and I go forward, I do not go backwards, I do not do the opposite of forward. Backwards, that doesn't apply to me, I don't do that, I go forwards and that's exactly what I'm going to do with my videos and my YouTube channel. You know, and I'm and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove that YouTube still exists and YouTube is still real. You know. And 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 just like all these problems, all these issues that are happening on the YouTube platform, which I I really don't think they're a major problem at all when it comes to the YouTube platform, you know. I think the YouTube platform is still the place to make creative content you're, you're making content to make others happy smile entertain and inspire i think it's still that same platform for you to do that you know and others are like thinking oh it's not possible anymore but it is it's all about the will 
to believe in yourself. You believe in yourself 100%. And remember, you can do anything as long as you put your mind to it, you guys, and you're being positive while doing it every step of the way, all the way, you know? So it's like you're in this tunnel, right? And you're like halfway from completing your dream. You know, you're halfway. Do you just say to yourself, oh, no more positivity. I give up on my dream. No, you keep being positive. You keep following your dream. Keep following your dreams, you guys, and keep being positive while doing it, you know. And you're in that tunnel. This is just example wise. You're in that tunnel and you're halfway from accomplishing your dreams and you see the light at the end of that tunnel. You keep on going. You keep on going. You do not stop. You do not quit. And you never ever give up you guys and that's what it's all about that's what it's all about right there you guys it's all about the will and the power of never giving up believing yourself 100 percent, and you're always positive every step of the way all the way always you're always positive you're always about positive energy and you're always about kind and caring support and positive energy like i am you know and i'm always about positive energy i'm always about respectful energy i'm always about kind and caring support and positive energy because that's just who i am that's in my soul that's in my heart and it's in my nature the positivity the respectful energy the kind the caring the support the 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 the, the support of the the positive energy all that together that's who i am you know and me I'm only going to focus on the positivity. The negativity belongs in the negative group. I'm in I'm not in the negative group. I never was never was a member of the negative group. And when I say that, I mean that I'm always going to be a member of the positive group, and I mean that 100%, so believe it. So yeah, you guys, you know, I'm going to do more videos talking about YouTube and just you know, saying and trying to prove a point that YouTube is still a thing and it still exists, you know, and that making videos on YouTube and, you know, y let's say, you know, you want to have up to 1 million subscribers on your YouTube channel and you're like thinking, oh, nowadays it's not possible, but it is possible because all because it is always about it. It's all about the will and the power of never giving up. You keep going forward. You keep charging forward. You keep forging your forging on ahead. You keep pushing yourself forward and forward and forward. And you keep pushing and pushing and keep going forward and forward. And you keep pushing yourself forward beyond that limit break. And you keep on going. You keep going forward. You keep running forward, jogging forward, walking forward. Whatever it is that you may be doing, you keep going forward. You keep charging forward. You keep forging on ahead. You do not stop. You do not quit. And you never, ever give up. And that's what it's all about, you guys. So again, you guys, you know, for those of you watching this video that may think, oh, YouTube, it's not possible anymore. It is. You know, you want to know why? It's real simple. Don't give up. Never give up. My two goals for my YouTube channel are to reach 100 videos and 20,000 subscribers. And the reason why I set those goals up for myself is before... Before, you know, I was doing YouTube, I was doing YouTube videos, and, you know, I was doing my topic videos, I was talking about this, I was talking about that, I was, you know, making life lesson videos where I was teaching life lessons, and, you know, I was trying to be inspiring and motivating to others, watching my videos, and I'm always about inspirational and motivational energy, and I try to be inspiring, and I try to be motivating in my videos, and... I'm no professional speaker. I'm no professional speaker. I'm no genius. But just because I'm no professional speaker, you know, I could still be about inspirational and motivational energy, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Because that right there, both of those terms, inspirational and motivational energy, that's positive right there. That's all positivity energy, which I'm always about. So, um... As I was saying, you guys, the reason why um, I set my two goals up is before when I was doing YouTube, you know, I would just do my videos. I would, you know, make do the topic videos. I would, you know, make life lessons where I would teach life lessons and, you know, I, I would uh, teach the life lessons and I tried to, and 
I was I was trying to be inspiring and motivating in my videos. I was trying to inspire and motivate others that were watching my videos when I did the life lesson videos and just like before I was just doing videos, I was doing my YouTube channel. I kept going. I did not stop. I did not quit and I never gave up. But now that I set up those two goals, now I have something. See see like before ex this is example wise. See like before it's like it's like I was on this road, right? I was on this road and this road was blank. You know, I couldn't see far away. You know, it, it was like it was like this road in the desert and you know, there's sandstorms everywhere and I kept walking forward. I kept walking forward. I didn't I never went backwards and I just kept going forward and forward forward and I just kept walking forward and that's what it was like for me. So I kept walking forward, but it was on this road and nothing was clear. And there was these sandstorms everywhere and I couldn't see. I had these goggles on and I couldn't see clearly. And, you know, I tried to just, I tried my best to see, see the road and see what's ahead. See far, far away what's ahead on the road. And I couldn't see because it was just, I couldn't see at all. You know, there was just so many sandstorms. Not literally, you guys. This is just an example wise, metaphor wise. Um... You know, but like before, you know, before I set these two two goals up for myself on my YouTube channel, before I was on this road in the desert and I couldn't see straight and I couldn't see clearly and, you know, everything was foggy and everything and that's what it was like for me, you know, before. But now that I set these two goals up for myself now, everything's more clearer now. Now I have a clear line of sight. Now that I set these two goals up for myself, now there's no more sandstorms on the on this road that I'm on, you know, and now that I set these two goals up, now me being on this road, I kept going forward, I kept walking forward, but everything was all foggy, and you know I couldn't see clearly, and it was all foggy, and you know so many sandstorms were happening everywhere, and I couldn't see straight, and everything was all foggy and everything, you know, but now I've transcended from me being on that road to me being on this bridge. And on this bridge, ever since I set the uh, ever since I set the two goals up for my YouTube channel, I'm on this bridge now where I can see straight now. I can see clearly now. You know, everything's all clear now. Everything's, you know, HD quality and like nothing is foggy anymore. Nothing is foggy, nothing is like all misty and everything like that. Like there's no mist, there's no, you know, sand stores, there's none of that. Because on this bridge, now that I set these two goals up, now I have a clear line of sight. Before, I didn't have a clear line of sight. Everything was foggy, I couldn't see clearly, and, you know, I kept walking forward, but I didn't have a clear line of sight. Everything was foggy. Now I do. Because I set these two goals up. And the two goals, again, for me to reach 100 videos on my YouTube channel, and for me to reach 20 thousand subscribers and some of you may think that's not possible that's impossible it's not because I'm gonna put my mind to I'm gonna put my mind to it I'm always gonna be positive I'm gonna be positive all the way every step of the way every day 100% believe it I'm not gonna stop I'm not gonna quit and I will never ever give up and now that I set these two goals up I'm on this bridge and I can finally see far far ahead I could see so far away that it's all clear now everything's all clear nothing's foggy there's no mist there's none of that everything where everywhere I look there's HD quality there's the there's the sky there's the Sun you know and everything's all clear now now that I set these two goals up and for these two goals that I set up for myself, I will not stop, I will not quit, and I will never, ever give up. And me saying that, I'm also saying that I will never give up on these goals. I will achieve these goals. I will accomplish these goals. I will not stop, I will not quit, and I will never give up. And when I say that, I mean that 100%. Believe it. So again, you guys, my two goals 
for my YouTube channel again to reach 100 videos and 20,000 subscribers. So if any of you, so if any of you are new to the channel, if any of you are new and you're watching my videos, or you may be watching this video for the first time, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you guys. Click that subscribe button and click that post notification bell so you guys will be notified right away when a new video is up on the channel, you guys. So subscribe for more content. Click that post notification bell so you guys will be notified right away when a new video is up on the channel, you guys. And smack that like button to show your support because I'm always about supportive energy and supportive energy is the way to go 100% every step of the way believe it and like I said you guys I will not stop I will not quit and I will never ever give up you know and I'm not saying that you know when you do YouTube I'm not saying that there are going to be no struggles there are going to be no obstacles and there's going to be no challenges Trust me, you're going to have plenty of struggles, you're going to have plenty of obstacles, and you're going to have plenty of challenges. But the thing is, do you let all that stop you from what you love doing? No. The only person that can stop with what you love doing is you. No one else but you. Only you can take away your dream away. Only you can make yourself stop doing what you love doing. Only you can make yourself stop from falling your heart into something you've always wanted to do. You may want to be a guitarist or an artist or a painter or an actor, you know? The only person that could take that away is you. No one else but you. And you can't let that happen. You can't let that happen. You gotta let those chains stay intact. You know, it's like you're on this train and these chains are connected to all these freight cars behind you. And you can't afford to lose a single of those freight cars because if you do you know then you're gonna go backwards and that's the one thing you got to prevent you got to prevent going backwards you got to go forwards that's what it's all about you guys so again the only person that could take away what you love doing is you no one else but you and you can't let that happen so again for me the only person that could take away what I love doing is me and that's not going to happen. Because like I always say, you guys, I will not stop. I will not quit. And I will never, ever give up. And when I say that, I mean that 100% all the way, every step of the way. Believe it. Thumbs up to that. So, yeah. So, you know, all these YouTube creators, you know, and I'm not trying to be mean or rude when, I, when I'm saying this. Remember, you guys, I'm never about negativity. I'm always about positive 100% every step of the way. Believe it. I think the problem is it's just that, you know, all these YouTube creators and all these YouTube YouTubers are just, you know, they're jumping to conclusions. You know, they think YouTube is going to be no more, that it's over, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But it's not over. You know, the way I see it, you know, this is just the beginning, you know. And, you know, from what I'm hearing, um, YouTube is going through a lot of changes, you know, and YouTube is going through some new changes that they're working on for the next upcoming year. And to me, I think that's a good thing. You know, I think that's a good thing, you know, but others disagree. But either way, you guys, bottom line, in conclusion, you know, you know, people may talk about these problems and these issues, holding them back and everything. And they may say that YouTube is not worth it anymore. It's just a waste of time. It's not a waste of time for me. This is all I have. This is my dream. This is my passion. This has always been something I wanted to follow my heart into. I will not stop. I will not quit. And I will never, ever give up. And that is a promise I will never, ever break. Believe it. So yeah, you guys, you know, again, like I said, I will not stop. I will not quit. And I will never ever give up believe it say so, yeah, you guys um so like i said my two goals for my youtube channel are to reach 100 videos and 20,000 subscribers 
And now that I've set these two goals up, I'm on this bridge. Before, I was on this road. There were sandstorms everywhere. There was so much mist. There was so much sandstorms. Everything was all foggy. I couldn't see clearly. You know, now I could see things clearly now. Now I have, now I finally have a clear line of sight. Now I'm on this bridge. Everything's HD quality. Now I'm able to walk faster, run faster. I'm able to push myself forward and I'm able to go faster and faster and faster. You know, and I'm on this bridge now and I can finally see far, far, far away and I could see it clearly now. Now that I'm on this bridge, now that I set these two goals up, now I can see clearly now, you know? And that's what it's about, and that's what it's like for me, and that's what it's about when you set goals for yourself, you know? And the important thing is, when you set goals for yourself, you wanna achieve them. You achieve them, you know, that's gonna make you want to make more, more goals for yourself, you know? So you have this list, you completed your two goals, right? Then you ask yourself, what's next? You make yourself more goals. And you keep going, you keep going, you keep going and going and going. You keep going forward. You keep pushing yourself forward. You keep pushing yourself forward beyond that limit. You know, beyond the limits. You know, beyond that limit line. You keep going forward. You keep charging forward. You keep forging on ahead. You do not stop. You do not quit. You keep pushing and pushing. You keep going forward and forward. And you keep pushing yourself forward beyond that limit. And you do not stop. You do not quit and you never give up you guys and that right there ladies and gentlemen it's what is what it's all about and remember you guys positivity is the way you go it's the way to go 100 percent all the way believe it and i'm always going to do this you guys a thumbs up i'm never about this i'm always about this thumbs up positivity all the way so believe it and uh yeah so like i said you guys i will not stop I will not quit and I will never ever give up on my dream my passion and my destiny because this is my destiny this is what I want to do this has always been something I wanted to do and I will not stop I will not quit and I will never never give up and that is a promise I will never break believe it 100% believe it so right now I'm setting down the uh, the Japanese chopsticks aka the Japanese sticks because I just realized and I just saw that this video is over one hour <laughs> guys this is the first time that I've ever made a video and it's been one hour long. I'll be honest, I don't know how many people are gonna watch this video, you know? But if it's a lot of people watching this video, I'll be surprised, I'll be surprised, so yeah. But um, when I think about it, I, I guess I let a part of myself, no, no, I take that back. I guess I, 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 guess I let myself get carried away with all that speech with all the speeches and I that I said and I gave it in this video right here but wow one hour long that's the, I'll be honest guys that's a first for me so yeah and like I was saying you guys I, I I think for me in this video um I let myself get carried away with all the words I was saying all the inspirational and motivational energy that I was saying in this video right here and um I got carried away and this video is now one hour long so yeah wow so yeah, you guys, you know, real quick before I end this video, you know, my depression may be off the charts. My anxiety levels may be off the charts. There will be days where my anxiety levels are so high that, um, they're so high that they're through the roof and through the ceiling, you know, but no matter what. I'm never going to lose hope, and I will never, ever give up, because that's just not who I am. I'm always about positivity, 100%, every step of the way. I'm always about respectful energy. I'm always about supportive energy, 
and when I say that I will not stop, I will not quit, and I will never, ever give up, I mean it 100%. And if you guys were wondering what I was just doing now while I was uh, talking, I was out. I was tightening up my wristband because I started to notice it was falling off. No. <sighs> Trying to tighten up the best as I can. Oh, by the way, uh, real quick, funny thing about this wristband is when you uh, unroll it, it's actually a ruler. So it's for two uses. So, so it's not just a wristband, but it's also a ruler. So, you know, if you're, you're in math class and you're need, and you need a ruler. And you got that. Now, strange, and strange reason, you know, I always keep thinking for some strange reason that this thing is gonna fall off, but it's not gonna fall off because it's very, it's on tight, it's on tight, it's not very tight where my arm is gonna be paralyzed and everything. Or it's not, it's not like, it's not like this wristband's so tight, like my hand, I'm not gonna feel my hand at all, and it's just basically gonna drop to the floor. No, it's not like that, but um. I don't know. I just I just feel like I have to keep tightening tightening it, you know, so it doesn't fall off. But it's not gonna go, fall off. So yeah, and I really like this wristband. And uh, again, like I said, three reasons why I have this wristband on. Number one, I like it and I want to. That's one. Two, it reminds me of the Power Rangers, the the morphers when they morph into action. That's two. And three, this helps keeps my nerves, my anxiety levels, and my emotional levels down. And it keeps all that in check and it keeps all that in level so yeah and not just this the other relics that i showed the panda pen and the japanese chopsticks aka the japanese stick which i re which i really like i really like these relics that i have and again these relics i have them with me right here right now in this video because they help keep my nerves, my anxiety levels, and my emotional levels at level and in check. And they keep them all down. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's basically it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Real quick, I did not expect this video to be one hour long. So, yeah. Wow, that's a first, you guys. That's a first. So, yeah. All right, you guys. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, you guys. Remember, my two goals are to reach 100 videos and 20,000 subscribers. So you guys are new to the channel. Subscribe for more content. Click that subscribe button and click that post notification bell so you guys will be notified right away when a new video is up on the channel. Stay awesome. Stay positive. Stay respectful. Stay supportive and kind and caring and always be about kind and caring support and positive energy every step of the way all the way 100 percent you guys stay awesome don't forget subscribe for more content you guys twitter links in the description box below don't forget to hit some likes and some thumbs up on this video guys i'll be honest for a second there i almost forgot my intro my outro i mean um subscribe for more content you guys twitter links in the description box below don't forget to hit some likes and some thumbs up on this video you guys show your support Stay awesome, stay positive, stay respectful, always be about kind and caring, supportive, and positive energy every step of the way, all the way, 100%, always, so believe it. And as always, you guys, stay awesome and keep it awesome. Be awesome, you guys. Stay awesome.